Hey guys, Jonathan here with TLD, got Mountain Lion all downloaded and ready to go. But before I install and jump the gun, there's a few preliminary things I wanna take care of. With new OS releases come bugs and incompatibilities that could last anywhere from a couple weeks up to a couple months. So to do this uh, and prepare for that, I'm gonna show you guys how to create a second partition so you can install Mountain Lion, but still keep your Lion set up just in case you need to use a program that only works with Lion for the meantime. Now the process is pretty simple and straightforward. We're gonna hop out of here. We're gonna go up to uh, the Spotlight tab in the top right corner. We're gonna be looking for Disk Utility. So type in Disk, you'll see it pop up. We'll go ahead and select that right there. And then we're gonna head over to our hard drive or SSD, whatever you have in your system. We're gonna select that and then go over to the Partition tab. So we're gonna look for the little plus sign right here. Go ahead and press that. And it's gonna split it off into two sections. So you can click on one and you can see how much space is allotted to that current section. And we can either drag this down or actually manually type it a number right here. So for Mountain Line, I think I'll do 60 gigabytes and just dedicate that to Mountain Line. So we'll go ahead and type that in. We'll go ahead and hit apply. And actually, uh, before I hit apply, let's go ahead and name this. Uh, we'll just call it ML uh, Boot Drive. You can obviously name it whatever you want. Go ahead and hit apply, and there we go. So it's going to ask you, do you want to erase part of this? We'll go ahead and click the partition and wait for it to do its thing. So that was it, we're all done. It took literally about a minute and a half on my system. If you're using a hard drive as opposed to a flash-based SSD, it might take a little bit longer, but nonetheless, it was pretty simple and painless. You can see now we have the Mountain Lion boot drive section. This is gonna be part one of a three series video. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to create a USB Mountain Lion install disk. Uh, so once that is up, go ahead and click that video right here. Aside from that, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button as it does help the channel out. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to do so, and I will see you guys later.